like on it. Today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between our hard waxes. So first of all, I want to talk to you about the different packaging. So we do have two waxes that come as four pucks. So these will be our synthetic based waxes. So we have the Lyco Dream Hybrid Wax as well as the Lycotech White Hot Wax. Now these pop and go trays are easy to pop out. So we recommend you just you can either put them on the ground and you can just step on them with your heel. Um, additionally, sometimes it helps if you're in a warmer climate to pop them into the fridge just for a few minutes and that will cause the wax to condense, which makes them a bit easier to pop out. Now, our next type of wax, hot wax, is our one kilogram bricks. Now, this is our traditional hot wax. So we do have a few varieties that come as this one kilogram brick. We get a ton of questions in terms of how do I break up that wax? How do I get it in my heater? And obviously you can't put this entire brick into your heater. So what we recommend is a few options. One is that you can pop it into a bag, into a Ziploc bag or even just a grocery bag, and you can hit it with a hammer a few times and it will actually qu um, crack quite easily. And then you can take the pieces and you can put them into your heater as you need them. A second option would be to um, bang it on the side of like a cement stair or even a table. Um, again, it does cause it to crack quite easily. It's not um, too solid in order to get it to crack. Um, or you could also step on it a few times. Um, as long as we do recommend putting it in a bag because sometimes the lid can come off and there might be some pieces that pop out. It's actually not too challenging to crack it once you get it um, on a hard surface. And then once you have those chunks, there's a few creative ways that you could store it. Um, here's one. <laughs> there's a jar, it's a cookie jar just from the local dollar store. You can pop your chunks into the jar and then um, use the chunks as you need it in your wax room and it's also quite decorative. Um, you could also keep it in a large uh, container underneath if you have an area covered to store it. Um, now the, the main difference in terms of performance between the traditional hard wax and um, a wax such as the Lyco Dream is the pliability. So the hot wax, the Lyco Tech White Hot Wax and the Lyco Dream, uh, the two that come in this packaging are gonna be slightly more pliable. So that means that you're gonna be able to apply the wax in a, a larger strip. Um, it's never gonna crack. You're still gonna get really great results in terms of being able to pull super short hairs and fine hairs and they're extra gentle on the skin. Now our traditional waxes, um, there's a Lyco Jet, and then there's the, tr the traditional waxes in different varieties in terms of um, different soothing ingredients, different colors. Now the Lyco Jet comes as a desert rose or a lavender, and also we have an eyebrow Lyco Jet. Now these are great options if you're doing smaller area waxing. Um, they pull the hair extremely well, and all of our hot waxes are recommended to use on any kind of sensitive area waxing. So the, um, the smaller the area, perfect for hot wax. Um, we do recommend our strip waxes on larger areas just because it is more efficient and you're gonna use less product, but you can use the hot wax anywhere. Um, now hopefully, if you're able to try any of our hot wax, I would definitely recommend the Jet as one of, one of our top selling waxes and definitely known as our superhero wax. But all of our hot waxes are gonna be extra gentle on the skin and get all of those super short.